Hey everybody, um, as you know, I'm, I'm trying to be more open about, um, the struggles I've been having with, um, getting pregnant and staying pregnant in the hopes that by me speaking out, I can encourage other people and let them know that they are not alone, that there are so many of us out there that absolutely understand what they're going through. It's hard um, when you're suffering from infertility. You do feel isolated. You feel like you can't really talk to anybody because who's going to understand? Who's going to It's not easy. It's not easy. Um, so, I'm sure that everyone has seen by now that um, Wit and I um, got pregnant just recently. And um, a week ago I found out that we lost this one too. Um... I've been wondering why, why does this keep happening, um, and especially with this time around when I decided to be open and tell everyone, even though I knew there was a very, very good chance that I was going to lose it like the rest. Um, why did I go through this again? Um, honestly, I think God was telling me that there's still a chance. But I also think that God was trying to open my eyes. Um, I know that I have health problems that I'm, I have not in the past been good about taking care of. Um, I have discovered during this pregnancy that I have um, a hormone problem. Um, my body doesn't produce HCG uh, in the amounts that it should and um, I also discovered that I have a birth defect. Um, what I have is called bicornuit uterus or heart-shaped womb. Um, about 1% of women have this birth defect. Um, it's something that happened when I was in the womb myself. So there's, it's not anything I did. It's just it is. Um, actually, if you can see this, um, a normal womb should look like the one here. Um, that's what a normal womb should look like. Um, this one is what mine looks like. Um, as you can see, there's a pretty severe divide. Um, some of them are worse than others. Um, there are some with the bicornuit that there's almost no difference except a slight dip here. Mine is almost completely in two. Um, and typically, the baby will implant on one side or the other um, and grow on that side. Um, for most women with this disease, or with, not with this disease, with this birth defect, um, what that means is that at the end of pregnancy, the baby will have a hard time getting turned around. So often, the baby will be breech and have to be taken by C-section, um, which I was already expecting a C-section because I'm a diabetic. So that's not a big deal. Um, 
there is a slightly higher risk of late-term spontaneous abortion um, because of the shape of the uterus often it just can't support the baby um, cer cervical incompetence um, there's usually if they think that's going to be a problem they will go in and sew you up until the very end and that helps to keep that from happening and it's not too big of a deal um, studies have found that about 90 percent of women with a bicornuate uterus are able to carry a baby to full term without any problems. However, there are a small percent of women that because of how severe their bicornuate is, they are unable to carry a baby past the first trimester. And in fact, my miscarriages have been uh, five weeks. This one was six weeks, um, which I didn't find out until the seventh week, but it was only six weeks along. Um, so we are exploring the other possible reasons that I'm miscarrying, um, getting obviously my weight under control because that does put pressure on the uterus and could be part of what's causing the miscarriages. Um, because with people with normal uterus, it's not always a problem. Like bigger people with a normal uterus can usually carry without a problem. Um, bigger people with the bicornuate uterus, however, uh, because of the heart shape, the weight is putting pressure on it and that um, doesn't leave the baby room. Um, so taking care of my weight. <laughs> I've been painting today. <laughs> um, taking care of my weight um, is one of the things I'm working on um, as well as getting my sugar under control which since finding out I was pregnant I have brought my A1C way down. Um, according to my calculations, my next A1C test should be in the sixes, which is very good. Anything under seven, they consider under control. Um, for a pregnancy, they like it to be around six, um, and I'm pretty close to that. So, um, yay, I'm finally getting that under control after many, many years. Um, so, I am under the care of an endocrinologist right now who is helping me to work on my sugar issues as well as my weight and I'm going to take a few months to let my body recover um, after I have to have a DNC on Monday because I'm retaining, sorry if that's TMI, um, but it is what it is. So, that is my story right now, and I do feel God leading me to continue being very open about this, so if you don't want to hear my TMIs, I'm very sorry, and I hope that you can just ignore it and let it go by, um, but for those of you that have been struggling, um, for those of you that have had years of infertility issues that have had multiple miscarriages I just want to encourage you that God has a plan for all of us I don't know what his plan is I will never know really what his plan is until I get to heaven and then I'll sit down and I'll ask him what the heck God until then I'm just gonna trust I'm going to trust that things are going to work the way that he intends them to. Um, so anyways, if you have any questions, um, leave them in the comments down there, and I'll answer them as best I can, keeping in mind that I am still learning about this. I just found out today 
Um, so I may have to go run and look for an answer or tell you that I'll ask at my next appointment. Um, but I'll do my best to answer questions. And um, Any of you that have had any experience with this, please open up. Tell me about it. Tell others about it. Um, because I've been open this time, I've learned that I had been so closed off. People had their own ideas about what was going on with me, you know, and it it's not hurtful, but it's not truth. I want people to know the truth now. Anyways, I love you all, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.